I'm going to begin uh, by asking because, yeah, just following on from the fact that obviously I was there last night in the same screening as you were, I'm just wondering, I'm just, that's for someone who's been in this industry for a number of years now, has it ever got normal seeing yourself on a, on a big screen in a room with a thousand people in it? Is that something that you've just had to get used to in it, or do you still watch it and still scrutinise over your performance? And, I, I just, it's, it's, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like watching myself. And uh, of course I scrutinise over the performance, but it's also... Uh, I don't want to be exposed like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. But I guess in some ways it must be easier to watch a film like this because obviously it, you're, you're, it's sort of a lot of it is set in kind of flashbacks. So I guess for, for half for half the movie, I guess you're able to sort of sit back and enjoy it perhaps like I would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I enjoy the flashbacks very, yeah. very much. <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, working with Hans again, I mean, it, 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 I wonder what it is about him as a filmmaker that, that lured you back in. And just secondly, the, that kind of shorthand that's developed, I mean, obviously you've, you're someone who's done lots of collaborations with, with filmmakers before, obviously Lars von Trier sort of springs to mind. Um, it must just create such a nice atmosphere on set when you, know, you go on set and you know what they want from you and you know what you want from them. Exactly, and I also know what he's good at and what he's bad at, and he knows what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. And, uh, uh, but and we, have, we have similar taste, but we also we are different enough to sort of trigger each other and challenge each other. Uh, but it, but it is, it's, it's the, the wonderful thing is it creates a, a, a sense of safety, which means that you can be much, much braver. And I was wondering too, I think when it was introduced yesterday, they said this is a sort of co-production between Norway, Sweden and Denmark. And it, you get that quite a lot in Scandinavia. You get these kind of films where the, the kind of nations come together to sort of co-produce co a movie, more so than I'd say you do get in any other parts of Europe. But what do you think it is about Scandinavia as a kind of area as, but that has that kind of sense of, of real unity? I mean, more so than in many parts of Europe, you have this kind of little section of it where everyone is, feels very intertwined in, in a good way. Yeah, well, it's... It, of First of all, it is, uh, it's, it's a culture that is, that is uh, uh, it's one culture in many ways. There are differences, but it's one culture. I mean, since the Vikings, we, were, we came from Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. Uh, but, but, it's, but it's also, uh, it's necessary because it's, I mean, it's like, what is it, like 18 million people in three countries? It's like London. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to get together to be able to finance films. Yeah. And in regards to this performance, it's quite an internalised uh, display. Uh, do you find that kind of harder or easier when you're, you're, you're left with a character who doesn't have to say very much, but obviously there's a lot going on in their mind? I, I re well, several of the films I've done with Hans Peter, I've had little to say, and I really like that. I enjoy that because uh, to me... Uh, what I love about cinema is that it's not a literally a literal uh, art form. It's not like theater, which is basically spoken literature, uh, <clears throat> and it's it's everything is what happens between the lines. So 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 I like that. It's it's not easier to to work without lines. It's uh, harder in some ways, but it's also also you don't have to learn lines, which yeah. is fantastic, and I've never liked doing homework, so. <laughs> <laughs> Because the character's almost quite nostalgic and very reflective. I was wondering if you're quite similar to that in, in real life, and also what you do uh, to relax, because obviously your character likes going for nice dog walks and reading a book, and I was wondering how you wind down at the end of the night. I cook and I read books. That's what I, how I wind down. But I'm not very nostalgic, or I don't think, I don't dwell much on the past. I'm, uh, I, I have eight kids and I still have small children, so you really have to be present. So the, when I get old, I'll deal with the past. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, for you? Because I guess a lot of your past is on screen. It's available to us. So, I mean, if you wanted to look back over your past, you've got this kind of wealth of movies to do so. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd rather not watch yeah. myself. So. <laughs> and of course, in terms of what's coming up in the future, then, I mean, Dune is obviously one that we're ridiculously excited about and everyone who keeps getting added to the cast and we keep just sort of salivating. Mm. Um, obviously, that, that <laughs> it is famous as well for not only for being an incredible story but a very difficult film to bring yeah. to the big screen but uh, you must all be so excited about about the the challenge and i guess you're putting away that kind of element of the fact it might be a curse story and hoping that you can bring something new to it yeah i don't think about any curses or anything <laughs> I, i'm just very happy to be able to work with denis villeneuve so and i think if if anybody can do it well he will be the man to do it Cool. Brilliant. Thanks so much for your time. Today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!